stay down therapy. Hi everybody. Driving one day I found the air conditioner outside unit. Discarded by the road. The manufacturer is Artel and then produce residential, commercial, industrial ACs. I think this is part of commercial AC because there is no compressor unit in it. I brought it to disassemble it and see what exactly is inside, what parts can be found and whether something is reusable. Basically mostly curiosity prevailed and I took it. This is too big project for workshop table so I'm outside with my beautiful hairy legs. But let's learn a little bit about ACs. They rely on natural effects of a coolant passing through liquid to gas and back again. AC work by the same principle as refrigerators. So some main components are uh, the same like condenser coil and evaporating coil and the way in which the coolant moves between these components. The first step is for the compressor to build up pressure and temperature of the coolant. This highly compressed fluid is sent to the condenser and then this is where the coolant cools off losing energy and condenses back to liquid. That liquid is then pushed through an expansion valve into the evaporator. As the high compressed liquid passes through the narrow opening, uh, the pressure drops so that the liquid evaporates into the gas. As it evaporates, it absorbs the heat from the air. I hope you liked my mad paint skills on pictures in corner. Let's talk a little bit about main parts of the AC. The first one is refrigerant, also known as Freon, which is a special fluid that is important to cooling and freezing technology. It operates on a closed loop and it changes states from gas to liquid. There are ozone and global warming concerns about their usage. Second one is condenser coil, which you can see on screen. The condenser coil is in the outdoor air conditioning unit. It receives the high pressure, high temperature refrigerant from the compressor. And this is what I am tearing down in this video. The third one is the compressor. The job of the compressor is to pressurize the refrigerant to increase its pressure and its temperature. The fourth one is expansion valve. When the refrigerant leaves the condenser in its liquid state, it has a dispersed heat, but it is too, still too hot to enter the evaporator coils. Before the refrigerant passes the evaporator coils, it must be cooled down. This is where the expansion valve comes in play. And last one, we have evaporator coil. Evaporator coil is where the air conditioner picks up the heat from your home and as the refrigerant absorbs the heat from the indoor air it starts to evaporate to form of vapor. What did I get from this outdoor unit? There aren't a lot of parts I pulled out of this outdoor unit but I hope you learned something because it is condenser coil unit there is no compressor what I got was a motor and its capacitor because this is a single phase motor new one cost around $40 uh, with it comes huge massive fan propeller and thick electric cable there is also a coil heat sensor which is a basically thermistor in its uh, case got few rubber and plastic tubes. Uh, remember, don't throw away something if you can reuse it. Recycle parts. See you at the next video.